Hey y'all, Pigeon Forge Ride Run, and I got a 59 Chevy pickup truck I think y'all are gonna like. It's green, but yet it's still way cool. So anyways, let me get the camera turn around, we'll take a quick look at it. Like I said, it's green, and for some reason in the camera, it's picking up a gold tint that you really don't see in real life, but it's two-tone. It's got silver leaf going down the side of it, awesome stance, and it's green. Did I tell you that? How do you make green look cool? It ain't easy. But man, they pulled it off, let me tell you. Man, that is cool. Great stance on it. It's been done like, I don't know, 10 years or something. It's holding up well. See, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's actually two-tone. And it looks like the bottom's like candy. And then the top is a uh, just a darker green. But that silver leaf breaking it up, I think that really, really works well on it. Man, all alive. That's a Pigeon Forger I'd run, man. If you ain't been up here, you gotta come because it's all changed now. High caliber, cool cars. They still have a lot of nice cars, drivers, clean cars out in the parking lot and all, but these ones inside are just rocking, man. It is different than it used to be. It is a premiere show now. And a good time, you know. You get to come up to my backyard, the weather's always good. People are great, food's great. We'd love to have you. And they have two of them. You come to the one in the spring, and I bring in 12 cars for the Scotty D TV Dirty Dozen. So 12 cars off the channel make that one. I'm a big fan of the interior, too. I love the uh, center speaker. I like the uh, seating surface that they use, that kind of cloth there, kind of reminiscent of, you know, older times, old school. The 59 Dash. Got a level on the dash for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's about, but sure, hey, you gotta know if you're rolling straight, right? I like the pedals. There's nothing I don't like about this truck. And it's green, did I say that? <laughs> it's crazy green. But man, it just, hey, it's right, it works, man. 4,000 miles on it gets a little driven. Put a quick clip of this in there just so you can see what it's like up underneath. It's all painted, pinstriped, and everything else up underneath there. Clean as can be. They said when they did this truck, it was so well preserved, no rust, and that's the original wood that was in the original truck. They just put some oil on it. How crazy is that? And then of course it's got the silver leaf and the pinstripe and every two-tone paint all done on the inside too. Tubbed. Quick look up under the hood, I like that, man. The tool intakes, that's cool. I like how they use that uh, molding or that hood. Looks like a hood ornament that they put down in the middle of it. Some more silver leaf clean up underneath here no clutter and I don't know if that's stock but it's an awful fancy looking brace up under there too man that's a high end truck that's all there is to it so there you go from the uh, Pigeon Forge Rod Run really nice 59 Chevy pickup truck hope you all have enjoyed it see ya